This is an introduction to QED Solver for Windows. A better way to do calculations. To use QED, enter your problem in the editor, in the left panel. Then click the green run button, and the results will appear, almost instantly, in the solution report at the right. You can use QED to solve linear and nonlinear systems of equations, minimize or maximize functions, plot beautiful charts, and document calculations in customizable and very professional solution reports. Your calculations are portable and will also run on the iPad and the iPhone. Mobile versions of QED Solver run as native applications. Android and Mac versions are coming. Now let's look at a few examples. We'll start with a system of linear equations. Let's zoom in, to make input text easier to see. The first line in our problem is a comment. Comments in QED start with a slash slash, like in many programming languages. Note the highlighted syntax, to make things as clear as possible. Equations are written just as you would write them on a piece of paper. The unknown variables in this problem are, a, b and c. Variable names are, case sensitive. In this problem, the multiplication operators between the coefficients and variables, are implicit. Multiplication operators are optional, where there is no, ambiguity. To solve the problem, we now click the green run button, or use the keyboard shortcut, F9. The problem is solved and the solution report is generated. Within the solution report, the calculated values of variables are shown in the variables table. The problem statements are recorded in the statements table. For each statement, the solution accuracy is delta, which is the right side minus the left side. The solution report may be customized. The user may specify, title, subtitle, authors, company information, calculation description, variable number formats, units and descriptions, copyright, confidentiality and proprietary information statements, etc. Now let's move to nonlinear equations. Solving nonlinear equations is usually no more difficult than solving linear equations. In most cases, you just enter the equations and then click run. However, nonlinear equations sometimes have multiple solutions, also called roots. You can ensure that the solver converges to the desired root by constraining the ranges of variables or by assigning starting values in the vicinity of the correct solution. To provide a starting estimate for a root, it is often helpful to plot a function. The number of nonlinear equations that can be solved is unlimited, except by memory and available time. Charts are created with the plot command. Creating a chart can be as simple as typing plot, followed by an expression, and clicking run. We'll start by entering plot. 1 over 1 plus x squared. Then click run and view the chart. Now we add additional expressions to plot. For example, 1 over 1 plus x to the fourth power. And another expression, exponential of negative the absolute value of x. Now we restrict the x range from minus 4 to 4. And set the x axis label to x. And the y axis scale, to a log scale. Finally, we add a chart title. As you can see, it is simple to do many customizations, view the results, and produce precisely the chart we want. The plot syntax is simple and encourages experimentation. Now let's move on, to user functions. User functions are very useful to encapsulate repeated calculations. They may be comprised of just a single statement, or they may include many statements, although there is always just one return value. Functions usually have parameters, that are always passed by value. Functions have local variables, however, function statements may also reference global variables. An interesting example demonstrating the power of functions is a plot of the famous Moody diagram in fluid mechanics. 
The Moody diagram is based on the Colebrook equation. The fact that the equation is implicit is not a problem for QED. The entire Moody diagram can be produced with a single plot statement, which calls a single function. This introduction has touched on some of the interesting capabilities of QED Solver. To learn more, visit the QED Solver homepage at www.qedsolver.com. The Windows version may be downloaded as a free trial. Mobile versions are also available. Check it out today.